Kamal, what was what was it like to be on stage with your some of your friends, some of your best friends, yeah. some of the best players to ever play? What was that that experience like for you? In the moment, I think we all we just had to kind of just take it all in and just sit there and just reflect back on all the years and everything you did to get to that moment. It was just a room that you wasn't wasn't expected to be in, you know. I mean, growing up with money ever, I, I didn't think about that. So to be in that room and just look to my right, look to my left, and see guys that you know, that I came to the league with, or my peers, uh, people that I call friends, people that I call family, to to experience that moment at that time was I would never forget that. Was there? A conversation or an interaction that you had with a player that surprised, like maybe someone you barely knew or something. Like, was there anything like that that like really sticks out? Conversation, bunch of you know dialogue going back and forth. Uh, you know, there's been guys who I, I, I never had a conversation with uh, that I, I saw there, uh, and you just have this this energy. You don't know what the energy is. The unknown. You don't know. What the approach is, you don't know how they're gonna take you. It's, it's you know, it's it's one of those one of those weird moments at, at first, but once you get in there and then you just start seeing how you, you really understand how much of a fraternity the NBA is. Who are some of those guys? I don't want to get into that. It's well, just oh. <laughs> 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 it's a related question though, maybe a few moments here. Is there a guy in that room that still makes you feel like sort of like the little kid with the fame in a way? So Uh, <laughs> no, but it's <laughs> no, not really. But it's you know, it's it's, it's the for me, it's more so of the the respect that you know a lot of the you know the, the you know the older players uh, was was given, you know, and it was, it was surprising to to see that and to to feel that, and it was almost like you, it was it, it, that moment needed to happen in order for you to be. Validated in the sense that that makes sense from from a fraternity, right? And, you know that that fraternity uh, is, is a lot in that fraternity, a lot of different personalities, uh, a lot of a lot of different career paths, a lot of insight, uh, a lot of knowledge. So for me to to be able to try to understand everything, understand everybody, and being in that room, that energy is like you. It's like oh okay, I'm a part of this. I'm a part of this fraternity. No, that group spans basketball history going back almost 70 years. But was there anybody you didn't recognize or anybody you had to say to like, like, like who was that? No, um, did, you, did you recognize everybody in this yeah, play? for the most part. So you, <laughs> so you know what Bob Pettit looks like? I, I did know what Bob Pettit looked like. I did know what Bob Pettit looked like. I'm, I wasn't going to use the I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a student of the game, so I, I, I know, you know, players. I, yeah. I study the history of the game. Uh, you may not see too many pictures of, you know, and have so much information on some of the players. At least not in color. You still, yeah, not in color, <laughs> but you still, are you still aware of um, who, who was there and who was not? So. Yeah. How's your hamstring? So, so was it? It was very cool. And he brought up Bob because I was in the elevator with him. I wasn't sure it was that. It, it, it was that. Cool. Um, <laughs> tonight. <laughs> You guys uh, get a chance to try to start this final stretch. And what do you think? Like, did you think this group is up for the challenge that remains in front of it? I think we built for it. Um, I think we built for uh, the second half of the season. I think we're built for uh, a postseason. Uh, you know, it's just things that we can't control. And you, you can't, can't control that. You don't know how that's, how that's going to come. Uh, we don't know the effect that that's going to have on, on that individual or the team as well. So those are things that we can't control. But I think now the second half of the season, but not in the second half of the season, it's 20 something, 26 games. But, so you're coming out to the tail end of the season. Uh, it's, it's definitely something that we we have to kind of change our approach uh, and, our, and our mentality going down the stretch. I think it's fair to say over the weekend, LeBron started to a little bit, talking about you know, door not closed on Cleveland, once for LeBron. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you know, LeBron for a long time. Um, those comments 
strike your name away where you kind of like block them out. So, you, I just heard it. So, okay. So, so you didn't hear it before then? I don't know the substance of it, of how he said it or what happened. Okay. Well, how did his presence at the tree run today kind of affect the group? Or, or was there any energy you sensed around him today uh, as you guys prepared? No, he's, I mean, he's, he's him. I mean, he, he, he has his approach. His approach is the same. You know, every day, day in and day out. So it wasn't something that was different. Uh, I know him, and I know how important you know this stretch is. Uh, he knows it. We know it. Uh, and we just got to do what we got to do. Okay? It's not on anybody else. We have to do what we got to do. What's that energy been like the last couple of days? We just got back. Well, yeah, shaking the Cleveland off. Oh, yeah, we're shaking Cleveland off. No, the energy, energy is good, man. It's, it's, it's always been good. The energy has never, has never wavered. You know, we, regardless of games we lost or what's going on, we, we never waver. That locker room don't change, you know, our camaraderie doesn't change. Uh, you know, so we have, I, I think. Moments like that and just having that camaraderie, it, it prepares us for whatever's whatever's in front of us right now. Physically, how are you? How are you feeling hamstring wise? And, and I guess what's it been like dealing with this injury the last three weeks or so? Yeah, it's been it's been a little difficult uh dealing with it just for the simple fact that you, there's nothing you can do. Uh your, your body gonna tell you, you know, what you can do and how you can do it and when you can do it. Especially when you're dealing with what, what, what I was dealing with. Uh, but I feel I feel much better. I feel a lot better. Uh, you know, practice yesterday, um, nothing nothing lingering. Felt good. Felt good today and shoot around. Um, I ain't even gonna have a chance to take a break because I've been back home and trying to rehab. And, you know, just trying to wrap up, get my mind, you know, right for this these 26 games that we have to win. Thank you. Dude, no. Nobody, yeah, yeah, nobody's telling any stories from inside that room. Come on. Yeah, man. yeah that's like the 